Steady on Roblox here. Sorry. Um, and this is going to be the second video in my Roblox Studio beginners tutorial. Um, and this is going to be going over the controls for Roblox Studio. So moving around, like uh, where you want to go and all this stuff. Um, and it's also going to be going in depth with a few more um, buttons and stuff uh, to teach, to start, so we can start making a game or making a model, or making something, right? Um, so, I'm, so to teach you about that, I'm going to be talking about some parts and models as well, um, and when to use models and when to use parts. So, uh, let's start firstly with the controls of Roblox Studio. So, in a Roblox game, uh, when you control stuff, you're going to use the WASD keys, aren't you? So, so W is forwards, A is left, D is right, and S is backwards. So, Studio is very similar to that. So, if I hold down W, then you can see I'm moving forwards. If I hold down S, I'm moving backwards. If I hold down D, I'm moving to the right. If I hold down A, I'm moving to the left. Right? So, in that sense, it's very similar. And when you're moving around a Roblox Studio in third person, you usually use the right, you usually use your right hand button on your mouse. Yeah? So, if you use that in conjunction with moving your WASD keys, then you should be able to move pretty easily, right? But this is quite slow. So, what if I want to get to this part of the app here, really quickly. So I can just point my mouse at it, and I can scroll, and it'll, it'll take me there, right? But what if I actually want to go slower? Well, if I hold down shift on the keyboard and move around, I'll go way slower. And this is good for stuff like uh, editing minor details or moving moving along a very small thing you're editing. Um, so uh, I think there's a page on the wiki on controls as well. So that will be in the description, just like the last video where the beginners tutorial for Roblox Studio was on uh, in the description. Um, oh, also, if you haven't watched that last video, you should definitely do it unless you're familiar with all the buttons and everything in Roblox Studio, although I will go over what each button does when I do use them. Uh, how far, how, uh, I don't know how long I've been. Don't worry, uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible um, so that you can learn quickly, but make sure you do listen to everything I'm saying and don't skip over anything because you'll, you'll forget. Um, so. Let's say you're going to make a place, a, a game on Roblox. Um, I see a lot of games on Roblox, and I'm sure you have too, where people will just have, I don't know, they'll go, I want a house, so they'll put a house, and then they'll just get a house. Hold on, <laughs> sorry. I don't want to say this one. So they'll just get a house, and then they're like, oh, I want a car, so they'll put a car, and then and then, and then after, after a while, their place just looks horrible and it's, it's like it's just loads of different models and loads of different places they're just like a car there house there you know you've no idea where anything is so it just looks horrible right but even though i personally don't use models much um models are a pretty useful thing in roblox um in the way that if used properly they can be uh, they can look nice and they can work well with your place so, if I was just to get loads of models out of here and then stick them in my place, I don't know, like this, and then but uh, look, look, it just looks already looks like a mess, doesn't it? Right? Everything here, it just looks horrible, right? But if I was to say, uh, I don't know, I want to make a, let me think, um, I don't know, I want to make my house, right? Uh, then, as a beginner to Roblox Studio, then you're probably going to want to use a combination of models and your own building. So if I just make a green base plate and I make the material of it, I'll make it grass, right? Um, as so I've got a grass base plate now, right? Um, so I want a house. So I think as a beginner, a house would be too hard to build, right? So I might get a house, right? But I'm not going to choose any house. I'm going to choose a house that I think looks great. So you're going to make sure you look at the houses carefully and see which one you like the most. So that, that's a pretty nice house, right? What about this one? Um, yeah, so these are both pretty nice houses. So the question is, which one do you use? Well, which one do you want the most? <laughs> and which one do you think will suit your place the most? Um, I don't, okay, I think I'll go with this one here, right? So then I'm going to put this house down in the center of the place like this, right? 
Um, and that's quite nice on its own. So say I want a fence around the house. What am I going to do? I'm not going to search for the fence here because a fence is a very easy thing to make. So you're going to make the fence yourself. And to do that, you're going to go here. You're going to go to part. You're going to click part. And then you press F on your keyboard and it will take you to that part. Right? And you can hold down on that part to move it around. Yeah? It will follow your cursor if you hold down on it. Right? So I can put it here. And then say, obviously I don't want my fence flying around everywhere. So you use this thing in the properties here called behavior and it's in behavior is called anchored. And that means it won't fly around everywhere, right? It's not gonna move. Um, and then I'm just gonna resize it into a sort of wooden fence, right? But that doesn't really look like a wooden fence. So I'm gonna change the material here and we'll change it into wooden planks. Actually, no, I think I'll change it into wood because wooden planks looks a bit weird. Um, but that still doesn't look that great. I want it to look more woody so I can change the color of it into something else like that, yeah? Now, if I now, sorry, if I now go to home, duplicate, then I can, sorry, then I can move this there, then I can do this, and then I can make the pillar of the fence, right? And if you hold down, there's a, I forgot what it's called, I forget, right, you hold down Alt on your keyboard, and then you, sorry, that, no, that's wrong, I forgot what it is. Okay, just forget what I said, I can't remember what the uh, command is. But if you just drag here, and then we can move it back to there. And then we're gonna use the smoother, smooth surface thing here. And we're gonna put a smooth surface there, yeah. And then we can duplicate it again and move it across. So, now that I've done that, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this so that I can make, so I can select both of these and group them together. And I can duplicate it and make a fence, right? So, that's that's a nice fence really compared to uh, and it goes well with the house because I've made the fence myself for the house yeah so let's say I made this fence all the way around the house it would look quite nice but if I was to use a model fence from from the toolbox here uh, I mean okay I'll look through here which one do I want the most I want this one say right then if I put this around the house you can imagine that's not gonna look very nice is it compared to this because I've made this fence myself for the house so models should be used um, in what's it called uh, moderation. Uh, it depends on the scenario you're in. As you get better at Roblox Studio, you should start to use less models because models, although they can be great, they are also you want to use just as little models as you as you can because it's it's cheating in a way really. But as a beginner, using models is completely fine. Um, and I still do use some models occasionally um, in my places just because I, I, I don't want to save time, you know, because I don't have enough time to do that other stuff. And because, I don't know, just, <laughs> it's okay to use models sometimes, just use them in moderation. Don't make your whole place just models because that would look weird. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, I think. Um, what else is there? <coughs> well, okay. Let's make the house. The whole house, sorry. Uh, so, if I was going to make the fence here, put the fence around the house. Sorry. Um, so, and then I can duplicate it again. The duplicate tool is very useful. And then duplicate, rotate, rotate it around. Oh, I've got the rotate set on a bad setting, I'll just change it. So I make it 90 degrees as a right angle. Change that so it goes right there. And then move it there. In line with there. Across to there. Right. So now think about this. Would you rather have a house and a fence and a, a whole place that you that was all made by someone else and you've just put it all in one place? Or would you rather have a house that has been made partly by other people, but you have made it your own. Like you've, it's still their place. I mean, there's still, I mean, sorry. I mean, there's still stuff that's there that's other people's creations in your place, but it's personalized by you. So, if you want to make a good place in Roblox Studio, and you want to use models while making that place, then always use them in moderation. So think about whether you really need to use that model. Could you make it yourself? Are you capable of making that thing yourself? Because in because think about it really, 
um, if someone else has made the model for you, then it's very unlikely that that model is going to be what you want for your place. So you're going to have to compromise uh, on, on what you're going to have for your place because uh, because that model has been made for a different purpose what you want it for. So unless there's an incredibly great stroke of luck and that model is what you need, then it's not always going to be what you're looking for. Um, so, as I said before, models aren't always bad, but use them in moderation. They're not something that you should make your entire place out of. Uh, and as you get better at Roblox, Roblox Studio, you should start using less and less models. Uh, so say I wanted a car here. I mean, even now, making a car, for me, is a hard thing to do, right? Cars are hard things to make, especially if they look really nice. So if you go models, cars, right? Then you can find a nice car and put it outside, right? But you're not going to look for a, a driveway and all this stuff because you know you can build that yourself, right? Uh, and you're never going to make, you're never going to get better at Roblox Studio if you do, if you don't do anything yourself. So you can get the car yourself, right? Because obviously I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't be able to build this. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to build this unless I spent a very long time making it. That's fine. So then I'll make a driveway. This isn't going to be very good. <laughs> um, just as a uh, what well, this is one. This is just just as what I'm saying. So I can just put a driveway here. I don't think this is a very good driveway, but oh well. Um, and then I'll make it um, pebbles. I'll make it on white pebbles. Actually, I'll make it sort of dark, darkish pebbles. Uh, and then I'll use the, the surface tool here, and I'll make it smooth. Outline. Put the car there. And voila. That's my house stuff, right? It's not, and, and it's personalized to me. Um, so, you're not going to learn anything really that much from these videos if you don't try it out yourself. So, uh, I'm just trying to think of something I could skate do. Um, okay, I want you to make a house, and you don't have to make the house yourself, you have to have about 50% models and 50% um, your own things and uh, if you make it you can put it in the comment section with a link and I will try and look at most of them unless there's a lot of them because I, I doubt this video will get very popular but if there are a lot of them I'm sorry but I probably won't have to look at them but I'm sure there will be other people who will look at them for you um, but hopefully I'll be able to look at all of them and I'll tell you uh, I mean, I'll probably just say they're great because they will be. Uh, okay, hey, don't worry. Um, <laughs> so that's what you that's what you need to do, and then because that will help you uh, to understand Roblox Studio more. You can't just know the theory part of it. You need to do it. You need to practically to try it. So try out the com the controls first, and then try out building something using 50 percent models, fifty percent your own stuff. Okay, uh, I've been sitting there. Thanks for watching.